today's educational game that I play is the sound comparison puzzle. This is another fun physics homework exercise to practice the units of sound. And actually, I will see now which sounds are dangerous and which not. Beginning from the left are the weaker sounds and to the right is the uh, tremendous, tremendous sounds. Right, I will use a few of my tries to separate this object and let's see now which one of these makes most noises. <laughs> I think the sound of exploding supernova should be the biggest sound here and you can see it is 440 decibels which means that bigger sounds like that shouldn't be a lot more to use the bigger magnitudes. Now after that I can see this. Uh, I think this is the sound of erupting volcano. Should be 235 decibels. Then I'm going for the sound of rocket launch. That is 180 decibels. And the sound of the jet plane is 150 decibels. Now, 130 should be the sound of the helicopter. Uh, nope. Okay, this is 100 decibels. Okay, uh, 130 is the threshold of pain. So this is the red line. From here, this sounds above 130 decibels can be dangerous for humans. But to the left are sounds that are not dangerous and some of them are pleasant. Well, maybe not the sound of flying mosquito or the sound of ringing telephone, but well, the sound of rustling, rustling of a stream, which is uh, maybe... Hmm? Okay, this is 40 decibels. And uh, what's that? Uh -huh. The sound of uh, human, normal human conversation should be 60 decibels. This is annoying, so should be, it should be 80 decibels, <coughs> the sound of ringing telephone. And my favorite sound, this is the sound of a working computer fan. Well, if it is uh, in, in proper shape, that is... Also, I know, I have a friend that cannot sleep if he can hear the sound of the fan of the computer. So if his computer is turned off, he cannot sleep. All right. And this is 20 decibels and the sound of flying mosquito, it is almost undetectable approximately 3 decibels. So, this is uh, the knowledge dosage for today and thanks for watching.